now record. A lot of people ask how to get the uh, hubs and drive shafts out of axles. We've got half an axle here, so imagine this is on the car. You need to undo these back plates. You've got four or three bolts, depending on the age of the vehicle. WD-40 is always a favourite. This is a really old axle, it's been kicking around for ages, it's had heat, it's, had, it's been soaked, it's had pullers, it's been a really difficult one to get off. If you're trying to do this on a, on a vehicle, try to remove the hub, it's just it's nigh on impossible. They'll either fall off and you'll think you're great, or you'll be swearing and sweating for ages. Once, that's, once those are undone, if you're really lucky, you can grab that and yank him towards you. The drive shaft, the bearing, the back plates, the brakes if they're still on him, the whole caboodle will all come out in one go. There's no shims or anything inside the diff, nothing's going to collapse or cause any problems. You give him a pull on there, he's not going to have it. Next one is, you could sometimes give him a quick tap on the back like that. If they don't come out on that, you can undo something, maybe the adjuster. That gives you an access point there. You need to find something, a drift or a bush, put it on the back of the hub. That will work. Go to a bigger The whole caboodle comes out in one piece. You can now get that job and work on it in a vise. Next stage, get the hub off. Don't pinch it up on that collar if you can do a close up sign. That sits inside the seal so you don't want to damage that edge. You're going to clamp on the shaft itself, just underneath that collar. Undo that nut. There are 15 sixteenths on there. You wind it. Close up again, please, Tom. So you've got two or three sheds, threads mainly the nylon past the end of the dry shaft. We're going to use that as a sacrificial nut. You drop the collar into the vise and we're going to drop the bearing onto the face of the vise. It's very loosely, not even pinched up, just held in place. biggest army you can find. Occasionally these bearings can shatter so uh, but they're 10-15 quid so it's not the end of the world. You can afford to be quite brave 